right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to get you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. This man is a future UFC champion. I'm not going to go that far just yet, but in terms of putting together a modern-day mixed martial arts athlete into one package, this kid can do it all. Yeah, because you watch what you say. Guys like me will just scream, this guy's a future champion, but your word holds value, so you won't do that. But every now and again, there comes a guy that seems to have it. This guy has it. This guy, when you look at him, you see a championship belt around his waist because he can do it all. He's got high-level wrestling, high-level crafting, high-level striking. He reminds me of Kamaru Usman. Yeah. There was no I wonder with Usman. It was when will it happen. This guy possesses that type of skill. And he has sort of a championship aura, right? He walks into our fighter meeting methodically managing yes. his energy. Seems to be the total package. Obviously a perfect test for him right here, right now at this stage of his career. Tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Now, for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting an ultimate fighter season winner, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Sugar Rashad Elbert. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC Herb Dean, third Little man fight. in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's call apart. Now he's going full mount. Nice positional control here. Postures up and a big head strike by Evans. Making all these shots count. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, he 
postures up yet again and delivers another big grounded pound strike. Nice sequence there by Evans. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, what a catch. All right, there's that switch kick, DC. He switches his feet really fast, sees the reaction of his opponent, then he chooses where he's going to land strike. Yeah, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Also, the title fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there. As the oh, and huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Switch kick to the body by Jones. Oh, big left hook there. So far, a frantic pace as it goes. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh! Huge left. What a stop. Oh, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus... So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch. There. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got dropped. I don't think the scorecard's going to be needed. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round. Oh, he might get finished here. Uppercut. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Evans. Oh, the ground and pound strikes kick. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has... Evans is going for a choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Evans. Oh, that couldn't have felt good. 
good as he lands the knee to the body. Oh, he's got a lot of bad here. Ooh, that is it! John Jones takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. Oh, my goodness. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO, John Bones Jones! All right, so as usual, John Jones leaving an opponent in his wake. He gets it done tonight by TKO. He does a really good job of setting you up. John Jones gets to his position, gets his opponent hurt, and gets a TKO victory. It's what we expected early, and now...